Hey, what is up guys? It's the Royal Greats here and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you the Citrus tab. It is an important tab, especially for when you're going for wonders, because sigils are used to boost your attack, damage, or defense, whatever you want to use it for, when you're using, when you're taking wonders, like the base or the forts. So if you're in a big guild, you're going to want sigils, or you're going to need familiar, or sigils, depending on their requirements. So sigils start out with resource harvesting 3, forging speed, forging cost, ration round 2, and weight training 3. Then you have your uh, leadership attack uh, for all of these, ranged, cavalry, siege, and infantry. Then you have your leadership HP for all of the troops, infantry, siege, range, and cavalry. And then leadership infantry, defense, range, and cavalry in defense. Then you have your helmet sigil. So to get helmet sigil, you just need to get all of the ones before it to eight. You don't need to get them maxed. But then once you get to armor and leg sigils, you will need to get them maxed. So there's a big difference. So then, once you get those, you're going to want to get that row max and get the main hand and off hand. Then you're going to want to get the furious offense for all the troops, which I forgot to mention the furious durability. And then you get the accessory sigil. But... Pretty much, you don't want to get the sigil after helmet sigil until you have a purple or gold sigil of whatever tier. So personally, I'm going for a purple, but I want to get a gold. It just depends what I get to. So once I get a purple or gold, I'll max out the rest of this research above that, get this row done, and then get leg and armor sigil. Because it'd be worth it. Because these cost archaic tomes, and archaic tomes are not cheap. So be careful when you're getting certain things because they're a lot when it comes to gem wise or IRL money because it's going to cost a lot of IRL money to get them. So pretty much sigils, which I will show you now, like Wolfpack Sigil increases rally attack only for wonders based on the total number of Wolfpack Sigils inlaid on rally participants equipment. Do not Does not include rally captain. So pretty much, if everybody has a gold pack attack, I'm pretty sure you can put up to a thousand sigils into a rally. Now that rally, for wonders, will be boosted to a certain point because of all the sigils in it. Personally, I want to go for a purple, which is 20, but a gold is 40. So it's it depends on what you want to go for. A lot of people I've met go for a purple on every equipment and then slowly upgrade to all gold because uh, purple is 20 but it takes four 20s to make a 40 so that means you're giving 80 away to get a 40 but it makes it more compact so you gotta think about what you wanna do cause you can either spend a ton of archaic tomes and get the full tree max and get purple and everything or you could take your time get helmet get gold and get the rest and get gold so it all depends on what you want to do. So me particularly, right now I have a blue in my helmet. The reason being is we needed a little bit of sigils to fill it up last time we went for wonder. So I had to boost that. So I would recommend getting military, economy, monster running, done. I really should upgrade military. Familiars, familiar battles and then sigils, and then tier 5, and then I would get wonder battles done, so then you could be considered a rally lead if you have good enough gear and you have good enough familiars. So it all depends on what you want to do, because it all takes time. So, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Peace out.